How's it going guys? It's the end of the day and we are starting a new project. I just got home from work and I've changed. I've put on paint clothes. So I'm covered in already stains and paint and other things. But today we're going to start staining the fence and I could not be more excited. We, I have been wanting to do this forever. Brent, on the other hand, has been a little skeptical about it. It wasn't until we went and we saw Janie's house and he saw how the paint really made the uh, plants and everything really just pop. And then we saw it on a TV show, I can't remember what we were watching, and it really, really just made the plants glow. So that really convinced him to let me stain the fence black. So, so this is what I picked up. This is the Bear House and Fence wood stain, and I haven't used it before. It has a 10 year warranty, and you can choose the color that you want. There was a huge list of colors. I chose the black color. This is called Slate, and um, they didn't have really many good options for a gray color. They had lots and lots of brown colors, some really beautiful ones actually, and then they had a few gray colors and then some beige, and I kind of wanted to go with the beige color. Um, I thought it was a really beautiful color, but our house is black and white, so I just didn't think that it would work out too well. And I knew that I liked the black already, have, having seen it over at Janie's house and a few other places. So um, this is what I picked up, this guy here, and, and I also picked up this pack of cheap little rollers and a paintbrush and the, the paint can roller tray <laughs> picked that up and this I think I think this was 35 for this gallon and this was 12. I also do have a paint sprayer that I'm going to possibly using. I'm going to start out with this and then see how this works. If it doesn't work very well, then I'll get out the paint sprayer. I've had the paint sprayer for two, no, but I've had the paint sprayer for like four years now. I love it. It's actually what I used to paint our entire house on the outside and it makes it go so fast. But because I don't want to put this into the paint sprayer, I use it for white paint. And because this is black and I'm also pretty sure that this is oil based, it's going to be extremely hard to like clean out of that. I did pick up some mineral spirits in case I do decide to use the paint sprayer and I will use the mineral spirits to clean out the paint sprayer to be able to get this out. It shouldn't be that big of a problem, but if I can go this route where at the end of this project, I can just throw the rollers, the paintbrush and everything away, then that's probably my best bet. So let's get started. Um, we finally finished the fence on this side of the property and the back. All that's left to do is this side of our property now. So let's get this side painted and we're going to start in a small section. I'm getting one section done completely first because Janie is coming up. She's coming up to my house in the next week and um, we are going to be doing some espalier on the fence. So it was kind of the time for us to decide, are we doing this or are we not doing this? And I convinced him to do it. So I got to at least get this first section done completely. So that way when she comes over to do the espalier, it's ready. So let's get started. Okay, so this is the fence we're doing. And the section that I have to get done first is this section. Basically from about here, I'm going to try to get down to right about there at least today and then i'm gonna just continue going down this entire fence and get that whole side done and then eventually the whole property will be done but for today i want to make sure that i at least get from here through there that way if janie does come early or whatever it may be this section is done so let's just jump into it Okay guys, we're switching gears because this was gonna take forever. I have not gotten much much done on it yet. Um, 
phone overheated and this is taking forever. I had my phone in the freezer. Now it's too cold, so it's fogging up a little bit. So I'm gonna let it cool down and then I'm gonna use the sprayer. Okay, so this is the sprayer that I'm using right here. This is the Home Right sprayer. I actually got it for a birthday present probably four years ago, and I love this thing. I used to be into way more projects um, than I am now, and I loved using this thing. It makes spraying stuff so easy. I will link it um, down below. I love this thing. It's super small. It was pretty affordable four years ago. I haven't seen what the price is now, but... If you have a big project, I highly recommend this. So let me show you how fast this is. You guys saw how slow rolling was. This right here, this section took me so long to do. That right there was, oh. So we're getting out the big guns and I highly recommend a sprayer. I love this thing. It did, like I said, our entire house right here, the entire thing. And then like any last bit of paint that I have, I would use on that fence, but it wasn't much. <laughs> so let's get spraying now because that'll be so much easier. <laughs> small sections like that and then just hit it with the roller really quick just to make sure that it's super even but that applies this stuff so much faster than using just the roller so let's just finish this up and I'm just gonna keep alternating between the two love going sideways I like going up and down with it if I rotate this right here that changes the direction of my spray so much easier to go up and down with this thing than it is side to side Oh my gosh, you guys, it looks so much better with this darker color, especially when it dries, it'll look even better. I'm really happy with how it's turning out so far. I have a lot left to do. And basically what I'm doing in this sprayer here, I am mixing about 20% water and then the rest I'm filling up to the fill line with the paint substance. Be careful though, it does spray everywhere. Um, usually I have it covering my face. You can see the blowback from this. It's a fan in here that blows air and then another one that shoots paint out so it just gets it everywhere so make sure you're doing this on a day that's not super windy and wear clothes that you do not care about so i'm gonna go finish the rest of this fence and i'll show you guys it when the sun goes down because um it's a little bit hot out here i'm almost out of daylight and i'm almost out of paint we went through an entire gallon and that got all the way from right here all the way down to you can see right there is where I stopped I've got a little bit left in the sprayer and I'm just gonna finish working my way down that way Brent has the paint can and he's just gonna do touch-ups you can see like right there there's a few areas that it shows and then he's gonna get really close to the aviary we unfortunately aren't going to be able to move the aviary so behind the aviary is gonna just stay the wood color which I think will be fine because it'll kind of look like it's framed out but then we'll continue down the rest of the side there with the paint. Um, I think I'm probably gonna end up needing a gallon and a half more. I'll probably end up needing at least two more gallons. <laughs> Just trying to be hopeful, okay? So two more gallons of paint at least to be able to finish down that way and then to finish down that way. That side is going to take at least a gallon, probably a gallon and a half. And then to finish this side here is probably gonna take another half gallon. So I'm really happy with how this is looking. I cannot wait to get this finished. I'm hoping probably in the next day or two to get this button up. I'm gonna work on it every day when I get home from work. Um, and I think it looks so beautiful. So I'll show you guys the finished transformation in another video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. And if you're thinking about staining or painting your fence black, I highly recommend it. It has just made everything just really pop instead of disappearing.
it's beautiful. I'm really happy with it. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys. And thanks Janie for letting me steal the idea.